Dear students, welcome back. In the previous session, we have discussed about front of the thigh muscles. Now, in this session, we are going to discuss about um, one region called as subsartorial canal. So, the name itself indicates a canal-like uh, space which is present below the sartorius muscle. Hence, it is called as um, subsartorial canal, and it is also having uh, uh, two other names that is called as adductor canal as well as hunter's canal. So, ad why adductor canal means here at the um, lower end of this canal, which is uh, related to the adductor uh, muscle. Okay, so especially that is adductor magnus. Uh, to that muscle, it is related. Um, at the lower end of this canal so it is called as uh, adductor canal and why it is called hunter's canal means john hunter was an anatomist and a surgeon at london uh, hunter's operation for the treatment of popliteal aneurysm by ligating the femoral artery in the adductor canal so which is a landmark in the history of vascular surgery so, this canal is uh, given the name as Hunter's Canal after that. Okay, so now we will see in detail about this adductor canal. The adductor canal is an intermuscular space situated on the medial side, situated on the medial side of the middle one third of the thigh, medial side. Of the middle one third of the thigh this is the adductor canal okay and uh, uh, it extends if you see the extension the canal extends from the apex of the femoral triangle this is the femoral triangle from the apex of the triangle it the canal is going to start and below to the opening to the opening that is the tendinous opening in the adductor magnus muscle. So, uh, it is uh, also called as adductor canal. If you see the shape, the canal is triangular on cross section. If you make the cross section, you can see um, the canal uh, appears as in triangular shape. So, this is a trans transverse section through the middle of the right adductor canal which is seen from above and uh, in this uh, picture you can find the boundaries and contents of the canal. So, this forms the uh, lateral end of this uh, canal and this is the uh, roof we can call it as this is the roof, roof. and uh, this one is the medial and this is uh, anterior and as well as lateral okay so the boundaries if you can see here it has an uh, anterior lateral posterior medial and medial walls are present so how many walls it is having anterior lateral wall and posterior medial wall Okay, posterior medial wall, anterior lateral wall, posterior medial wall and the medial walls. Okay, so now we will see the anterior lateral wall. Anterior lateral wall is formed by vastus medialis. Okay, and the posterior medial wall, posterior medial wall or floor. If you can observe um, this, so... On the posterior aspect, on the medial side, it forms the wall there. Okay, uh, that is uh, floor. Floor is formed by the uh, posterior aspect as well as some of the medial portion. Okay, that floor is formed by adductor longus above, adductor longus above, and uh, adductor magnus. So below adductor magnus is forms the floor on the posterior aspect that is posterior medial wall 
is formed by adductor longus above adductor longus above and adductor magnus below okay now we will see the medial wall now the medial wall or roof is formed by a strong fibrous membrane so roof is formed by a strong fibrous membrane joining the anterior lateral and posterior medial walls okay so the medial wall or roof is formed by a strong fibrous membrane joining the anterior lateral and posterior medial walls here okay normally a fibrous membrane is present okay so and this roof is overlapped by the sartorius muscle roof is overlapped by the sartorius muscle okay and now the subsartorial plexus you can find the subsartorial plexus yes the subsartorial plexus of nerves lies on the fibrous roof so i have told that this forms the fibrous roof this fibrous roof over this fibrous roof you can find the subsartorial plexus under the sartorius muscle okay that means subsartorial plexus is present between the fibrous roof and the sartorius muscle okay so normally uh, these plexus are formed by the branches from the medial cutaneous nerve of thymus uh, saphenous nerve and anterior division of abturator nerve and this supplies the overlying fascia lata and the neighboring skin so you can mention uh, this medial wall is formed by the strong fibrous membrane joining anterior lateral and posterior medial walls and then you can find the subsartorial plexus over this uh, roof and over this you can find the sartorius this forms the medial wall now we will see the contents okay normally it mainly contains femoral artery okay next one is uh, femoral vein femoral artery femoral vein and then the saphenous nerve here you can find the saphenous nerve okay and um, nerve to vastal vastus medialis nerve to vastus medialis of course uh, this nerve to vastus medialis and the saphenous nerve or the branches of femoral um uh, femoral uh, nerve okay now we can see the contents in a uh, longitudinal uh, section how the contents are uh, present uh, in the subsartorial canal now we can see yes so it consists of mainly femoral artery femoral vein and saphenous nerve okay nerve to vastus medialis okay and also abturator nerve now we will see the femoral artery enters at the apex of the femoral triangle within the canal it gives of muscular branches so the femoral artery gives some muscular branches there okay and then it divides into superficial uh, saphenous branch so you can, here you can find uh, saphenous uh, branch that one is superficial and a deep muscular branch of femoral artery is uh, given after exiting the adductor canal this femoral artery continues as popliteal artery in the popliteal fossa okay now this is about the femoral artery if you see the femoral vein begins as the upward continuation of popliteal vein so this one this one comes in an upward way the vein the vein comes in an upward direction so popliteal vein from the popliteal fossa the femoral vein lies posterior to the femoral artery in its upper part in its upper part it lies posterior okay and lateral to the artery in the lower part of the canal okay and then if you see the saphenous nerve 
which crosses the femoral artery anterior from lateral to medial side saphenous nerve crosses anterior to uh, anteriorly from lateral to medial side it leaves the canal with saphenous artery so if you can see these two comes out here so saphenous nerve and artery comes out uh, by piercing the fibrous roof and nerve to vastus medialis lies lateral to the femoral artery and enters the vastus medialis in the upper part of the canal okay and um, you can see some branches of the obturator nerve here so it gives two divisions of obturator nerve so one is the um, um, posterior division of the obturator nerve here we can find so this one is the obturator nerve posterior division of the obturator nerve the anterior division emerges at the lower border of the adductor longus gives branches to the subsartorial flexus and ends by supplying the femoral artery the posterior division of the obturator nerve runs on the anterior surface of adductor magnus accompanies the femoral and popliteal arteries and ends by supplying the knee joint so these are all about the contents of the adductor canal in the next session we are going to discuss about medial side of the thigh thank you